Welcome back to Indian Trace. It's moving day. What that means is this little bin here where I've kept these points for the last couple weeks, maybe three, it's time for them to move. I've made my decisions that they're going to go into the display box that I have and even down to the little triangle that I have down in there and I have a washcloth here for a reason I'm going to show you in a second. This is going to be a unique video. I've never done anything like this. I try to keep things creative. And uh, so there's that little rhyolite triangle and some sweet stuff, scrapers. You've seen these. But these here, they're going to have to move. They're going into my display box, which many of you have seen. But I'm going to show you what happens on moving day. I mean, everything from my top shelf stuff all over that you've seen. Just some great shots of some great artifacts here. Just hanging out, enjoying the day. So, anyway, I had to have a moving day, and uh, what that means is these points here that I found over the last couple weeks, it's time for them to move, because beneath these, if I could show you, are points that I found very recently. See those? You've seen a lot of these. And those still need to go through uh, some time, another week or so, see what I find, uh, if the rain comes, who knows? Those don't have moving day yet, you see? So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is show you how it works. Show you how I go through the thought process of dividing these things because there's a lot of different things you see here. And they are divided out in a lot of different ways, even down to the bottom of this display box. And I could even show you, by going down in here, that uh, there's quite a bit to see. I'm not even holding my camera the same way right here. I put you right down in this box to show you how things are spread out, just to give you some ideas here. I'm moving day. Where I open up this display box and uh, I move forward to get things organized. You know how you always fiddling around, always organizing things. Some great materials and some great things to see down here. A view that I can't even get my head in here and see. So you guys see it. And I rise right up out of it. I have bins where I put quality court stuff. Bins where I put top smoking, uh, of course, smoky courts. Bins where I have serrated stuff going on. Some great stuff. Bins where I have top small courts that we've seen it all. So what I'm going to show you, I can't forget the variated materials, is what happens on moving day. So let's go. I'm going to go ahead and just grab some pieces and show you. Of course, a nice, and this is unique because it's a serrated Marl Mountain. It's got the smallest serrations, but indeed it is. You can see it, how it's working off there in variated material. But I already know pretty quick where this has got to go. finds his home right in there, not a problem, because I have a lot of different variated materials all the way down to Marl Mountains with just unique variated materials. Finds a nice home there easily. Now things always tend to change around a little bit, but that's really what I feel is the best place for it right now for variated material. Pretty cool, huh? Then if I go in here, take another one out, Yep, little piece of quartz, bifurcated. You know, I found quite a few, I guess, little pieces of quartz, just real well worked. But I know exactly where this piece has to go. Up here, I have a bin of, th of very small thumbnail quartz. And so that guy, he goes right there and joins them all. I mean, this bin is full of them. Just great things. Great, fun pieces you can reach in there. And check out the stuff that, you know, I'm pulling out of the ground here in eastern North Carolina. Look at this piece from the Cascade. And so that other piece that I just put in there, he finds his home in there easy. And there is probably 30, 40 points in there. And I keep it all moving, you know. Keep things fresh. Look at this piece. 
My hands are red. It's been hot outside today. Didn't find a whole lot today, but we'll keep rolling with this and take out the time. It's moving day. I've got to get these in the box. <clears throat> Easy one to grab. I'm going to grab this little triangle because I know the place that it goes. Oh, my focus is messing up on me. Let's see if I can get it. You've seen it. Triangles are definitely not as common as some of the other points. I think probably because they're from the historic period. They're from the they're they're the youngest true arrowheads out there for bow. Nice piece though. That's an easy one for me because I know where all my triangles go. They go in this box right here. And there's a bunch of triangles in there. Can't see them. They're hidden. There's a bunch of good stuff in there though. Stuff from Notchville. I can see it. Just some great points. It's moving day. Look at this. Point from the dunes. Just fun stuff. The bin is not full. Plenty of room. Keep going in here. Oh, as we all remember this, the drill. And it's a fun day. I usually go through the stuff. Nobody's ever seen it. You know, I'll go through and I'll take a look at it and say, I know just where that's got to go. This has to go over here with my drills. And some of my other stuff. I mean, look at this. I put this in there anyway. Drill. Incredible. Little paddle drill. And as Brooksy said just on the channel, uh, I think it was yesterday, that... Uh, I can see any other drills in here, my goodness. Little drill there. The drills definitely come in quite less than all the points. Another smoking drill right there, found this year. So I've got a bunch of drills right there, but not a bunch, maybe five. That was a nice drill, came off the easement, did film that. Nice piece, huh? Anyway, put that in there. Now what we do is we have another little smoking, I guess people call them tea drills, on top of it. Let's move ahead. I'm looking at my time. Got a nice point here. Remember this guy? Well, he's got a place. He's unique because I can see here where they left a little on there, and I just like it because it was a finished product. But I have a place where I keep points that are similar to this. So I put him right down in there, and he, he fits perfectly. i got plenty of room moving him around. Now, look at this. Remember this from Beaver Point? Rhyolite Notch Point. You know, I already know in my mind where I keep similar grade points and similar size. He's going to go up here where all these notch points are. I mean, look at these. One from the lookout right here. Just fabulous stuff. He'll fit right in there. We have lots of room. Move him in there. As you can see now, he joins the group. Just an idea to keep a collection in order. Look at this piece I found. That came off of the plateau, I think just last week or, you know, pretty recently, all of these. But this was a great piece to show you. This is pretty large. It's got a it's got a great place where they hafted it in there, and that was just a great looking point to me. I, sometimes I just really like to feel the points and what have you. So that point is a little bit of a mystery, but I do know where I keep a lot of the good rhyolite like that. I mean, I keep them in here. That's full on top. Look at that. My goodness, a little bit of a Guilford Yuma. But looking at all this stuff, I know this guy, he's going to go real well right there. Now, there's some other unique points in there that are similar, but unique. So he'll fit right there, find a good home for now. Now, as I seal down here, of course, we've got this scraper. Don't know what the world kind of scraper it is, a paddle scraper, what have you, a smoking scraper. We saw it. Workmanship in today's light. Edge. I'm 
All right, where do I keep scrapers? Well, we saw it a little bit. We're taking a journey down here. I don't get my fingers in the way too much. Scrapers down in the corner so I can get my exposure. And some big quartz points down there. There's a nice scraper right there. So this guy will have a good home easily. Right in here. Who else in the world? And there is nobody. No human beings come in here. Nobody sees this box. He'll find a good place over there with the other scrapers. No problem at all. Why not, right? And I'm very selective about which ones I keep. Some tools in there. Some blades. All right, we're almost finished. A couple more. Look at these. Smoking points. We're going to go with this Guilford first. Because I know just where my Guilfords go. That's a nice piece. Now, although I do have some Guilfords down here, across the bottom, if you know fishing, you got the smaller compartments. I do have some Guilfords down here uh, that I just haven't been able to really walk away from, and I like to keep my Guilfords. They're just uh, special pieces to me. But this one, and you can see right across here, this is Guilford Lane. Guilfords, Guilfords, Guilfords. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this piece and I'm going to put him right there for now. And I always say for now because things, as you know, always change around, at least with this. And I haven't seen anybody, and I didn't really get the idea except from my brain. There's some sugar quartz in there of where to put everything. Okay, I'm just about done. Don't want to make it too long. I did save the best for last because off of Beaver Point last week, this was about one of my favorites from the group. You usually have group favorites. Just love it. Love the size, love the shape, workmanship. This is a great arrowhead for me. I mean, traditional, traditional, uh, looking arrowhead I guess but because it's a favorite it goes to top shelf and that's for sure easy because I have some top shelf bins where I keep my favorites of certain size and proportion anyway that is what you call moving day. And so I thank you all for tuning in to Indian Trace. That makes it complete. Now look at this. If I take this off down here, nothing else in there. I've got more that I'm going to have to have a moving day on pretty soon. You've seen those. But now you see how it works. They disappeared into these, these trays. Keep them organized based on style and size. And, and even the ones that are, sh are stippled with strawberry quartz. Just keep them in a fairly decent order, I guess, according to my brain. Anyway, maybe you get some good ideas from that. And that's all it's about. Grabbing a couple good ideas and doing something with your collection or for other people. That's the way to go. Good material right there from D&B Field. All right, everybody. Well, thanks a lot. I really appreciate you tuning in to Indian Trace. And that right there, that's Indian Trace.